Hello? Hi, is this Marty? Yes, Marty speaking. Hi, it's Annie. Can, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you good. Oh, good, great. Um, let me ask you, I'm, I'm, are you recording me right now? Yeah, is that okay? Okay, that's okay. Yeah, I won't use your name or anything. Yeah, where you work, no. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know, should we start with the Eru or should we start with growing up? Whatever you want. Uh, you okay. want to start? Let's start with the Eru. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, so my understanding is that for Hasidic people, there are a lot of things you're not allowed to do from Friday night to Saturday night because it's Shabbat, right? Yes, right. right. And Shabbat is the day of rest, like God created the earth in six days and rested on the seventh. So you're not supposed to do any work on the seventh day of every week. Right. So you can't do things like driving a car, turning on a light switch, carrying objects. Uh, walking in the street with a baby stroller. Right, because they'd be considered work. Yes. Right, so what I find really fascinating is that there's this thing called an Eru, which is basically a string that looks like a telephone line that a rabbi puts around a neighborhood, so that as long as people stay within this string, uh, within the rabbi-sanctioned private space, they can get away with doing those things. Uh, first of all, I'm not a rabbi, so I don't know uh, exactly details how it works, but if you don't have an area, the whole place around you is considered like a public place. And according to the halakha, the Jewish law, is that you're not allowed to do those things. Okay, and right, so if it doesn't have an Eru, if it's public, and if it's public, you can't do those things I mentioned, like, like carrying objects. Yes, right. Right. So, okay, so I'm having a really hard time finding the string, the Eru, or anyone who's Hasidic, uh, who can speak with me, and and that's why I put the ad on Craigslist. You, you put this ad on the Strictly, which uh, section was that? Yeah, Strictly I, Platonic. Yeah, Strictly Platonic. So a lot of people, I, I, when I go on Craigslist and I look, I mean, I look all the posts, but if I see something on, on Strictly Platonic that makes me, that gets my attention, sometimes I reply to that. What other things have you found on Craigslist? Oh, you can see over there on Craigslist you have the other sections like uh, man for woman, woman for man. Most of that, like uh, probably a hooker is a horse. I don't even bother touching that ad. I mean, I'm going to look it through, but I'm not going to call them or something. And uh, sometimes it's interesting. Sometimes I I just want to see what's out there. Right. Oh, so... um. So you, you never, I mean, you never looked into the Hasidic lifestyle before? You mean you never checked it out online? Or you never see Hasidic people on the street and you have a wonder? Well, I have walked, you know, I walked a little bit in Williamsburg and like I felt really uncomfortable. I felt like that was the only outsider. I mean, it's, uh -huh. yeah, it's just But very... listen, you don't have to feel uncomfortable. I mean, the street is open for everybody. You just walk by and whatever you do, whatever you like. Well, maybe next time we talk, you can tell me where to find the air. Maybe I'll drive by one day. I'll take a look at it. It'd be really helpful. Okay, so we'll talk in the next time. Okay? okay, have a good day. You too, thanks. Okay, bye, Marty. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, hello? Hi, Marty. It's Annie. All right, how's it going? Not bad. How about you? I'm doing great. Did you have a chance to um, drive around and look for the Eruv? Oh, the Eruv. No, I didn't. I totally forgot about it, and I didn't even, I didn't even start uh, looking into it. You're currently in Williamsburg? No, I'm moving to Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe I'll get to know you up close. Yeah, yeah, we can meet, for sure. Um, and, yeah, and, may, well, also I could hand off a camera to you maybe soon. You want me just to film around people, just like to see like the how the basic lifestyle goes on? Yeah, and sort of like anything that might look like a day in your life. I mean, without being identifying. Oh uh, well, I'll try to, I guess I can try to do that for you. What is your point of view about Hasidic people? I mean, have you ever been close to Hasidic people? Did you ever look into it, or just offhand? No, uh, which is why I'm so interested, actually. You were raised Jewish, right? So what, what, how far is conservative, modern? No, reform. Oh, reform. Yeah. 
Hold on one second. Oh, I have another view. Sure. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. So, so do you think that the internet's making it harder to contain the Hasidic community? Sure, sure. They specifically targeted the internet very much. They, now they're trying to come out with cell phones that doesn't have internet browser on it. So it's going to be for talking, like not even texting. Mm -hmm. They call it the kosher phone. Really? So what be, makes the internet not kosher? They claim the internet not kosher because, like, the thing what I'm doing with you right now, some people would say it's not kosher. Mm hmm Hey, hold on just one second. I'm hopping out of the car. Oh, sure. Okay. I'll tell you the truth. This is part of what's problem of the society because you're so close-minded. So anything that seems a little bit different, a little bit strange, you're, like, curious. Oh, what is this? And what are you saying? And what is she saying? And what is he saying? So do you find that there's freedom within the community for you? I don't know. I even feel myself like uh, trapped in it and I just can't escape from it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hurt a lot of people if I leave. My family, my kids. It's going to be a lot of things involved. It's going to be a lot of headaches for many different people. Hello. Hi, Marty. It's Annie. All right. How's it going? How do you like the neighborhood? I really do. I really like the neighborhood. So, um, let's talk about yourself. Did you, let me ask you about, uh, you probably went to college, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's see. How, how long is college? Like two years? One year? How long is it? College is usually four years. Yeah. It sounds like it is fun, according to the movie, what I watch, so... Which movies? Um, I don't know if it's true what I see, because I used to, when I used to watch a lot of, of porn, I used to see a lot of the college porn, sounds like they're always having sex every night and every day they get drunk and they have dancing and everything. So I was always, like, thinking, how can you concentrate on the subject that you have to learn if you have this much going on? <laughs> Just one second? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Hi. Yes. So... Anyway, so where was I? Um, uh, gosh, it was about... We were talking about the school system and um, and college and... Um, right, right, right. So, as you see, like, how many people don't go to college or university, they just learn and study whatever they study in school. But as you grow older, I mean, when you become 18 or 19... Or 20, they're probably engaged, and then I get married, and that's it. I'm just trying to see for myself, like, how far off is the Hasidic guy from the secular guy. That's what I'm trying to, to understand. Mm hmm Are you currently in a relationship? Yeah, I am. Right. I, I always wanted to know this, mm -hmm. like, from the secular part of the world. How does a man decide that I'm, I'm getting married to this woman and I'm staying with her? Let's say he after two years he walks on uh, wherever he finds a a girl that's much hotter than his current wife. How does he he doesn't drop his wife and gets married to the other wife? How does it work? I, I, I really um that's a good question. It's very hard for a man to to, to stay with to stay with a woman uh, yeah. for a long period of time. This is my point of view. I've noticed that too, and I find it very sad as a woman. <laughs> Um, right. Yeah, because I I'm not trying to scare. You. I'm not trying to scare you all, but the the thing is, I mean, I would say men are like pigs. Let's put it this way: men they get attracted to a lot of things. So even if it's, let's say let's for example, you see like Tiger Woods, right? Mm -hmm. He had a beautiful wife, right? Mm -hmm. I I would say I would let's say I would exchange my wife to have his wife what he has. And still, he went out with ten different women. So that's, 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 it's very, very hard to understand how people stay together. Yeah. So, how how many years have you been married? For almost five years. Wow. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> and how old are you now? I'm twenty-five. 
Fort Wright before I turned 21. I got married. Wow, a baby. You were a baby. Yep. Well, I'm, that's pretty old in the Hasidic community to get married at 21. <laughs> a lot of guys get married at 18, 19, or some of them get engaged at 17 even. Do you remember your feelings, you know, being 21 and p- meeting your wife for the first time? I met her like three times before we officially announced our engagement. And there's no such a thing about the Hasidic community like boys close to girls. I mean, from when you were the age, let's say, of four or five, and it's totally separate. There's a boys' school, then there's a girls' school. I decided I'll just kind of throw myself in just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. And do you think you made the right choice? Well, the, this is a question that I think nobody can answer. This is a thing like, I mean, as of now, I mean, thankfully, everything is going right and everything is good. I mean, sometimes, you know, you do have some issues, which uh, every normal couple has. Right. Hello. Hi, Marty. It's Annie. Oh, how are you, Annie? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm trying to go with my hangover. Oh, no. Are you at work? Yes. Oh no, is it really bad? Uh, not too bad, though. Uh, stomach is okay, but just my head. Uh, okay. No, it's, uh, it's probably gonna be gone. Hold on one second, let me hold it. Pick up this phone. Laser test to work on the test. Hello? Hi. Yeah, sorry. If you don't mind, let me ask. How about the. A girl in the sex of the world, what is her mindset towards, um, I mean, sex and everything? Well, you know, it is complicated, even in the secular world, I mean, because there's still so many ways to be brought up. I don't even know how to answer that, but... I'm a big fantasizer, too. I, I, I love fantasy, so, so I, sometimes I can just sit and fantasize everything. And what what do you imagine? I mean, like... But I was always, like, thinking what it would have been, like, on the other side, like, the partying stuff. This is what I was always thinking about. So what are some of your other fantasies? Having a party, enjoying, dancing, singing, having sex, having everything. Because it's a, a whole different, you see, as I look at it, you never really had any physical, um, 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 connection with a with a woman until you got married. You didn't have like premarital sex and you didn't have all this stuff. So for me, like being married to one woman, ha- having had sex just with one woman, I was always like fantasizing what it would have been like when I was in college. I would probably used to I would probably go around banging everybody. But uh listen, the fantasy scans here. So far it's, it still stays a fantasy, so <laughs> it doesn't cost money and it doesn't hurt, so why not? <laughs> Sometimes after I have sex, then I, I'm thinking to myself, well, that's not the way these guys have sex on the porno. That sounds like much better than that. So, Right. It's really unfair and unrealistic. You know, those people aren't real and they're just trying to create a fantasy that doesn't even mm-hmm. exist in their in their real lives. Those actors don't have right. sex like that. Yep. Can we talk about the air of again just a little bit? Um. Actually, I'll tell you. I really enjoy more talking about uh, many different things than the air. I mean, I can talk about the air as long as you want, but that's not a thing that I like. What I enjoy is I enjoy talking about everything. Yeah, so, like what? Like anything you want. Anything you want to hear. Yeah. Huh. I was I was thinking a lot also about other conversation about relationships and and how it seemed like, you know, men and women can't kind of make it on a sustained like committed way and um I just thought that was really sad to know that neither of us have figured it out. I guess it's also maybe just I've been personally thinking about all of this because um 
you know, I mentioned that I was engaged, but um, we broke up actually. That's why I also moved. So, and he found somebody else after we were together for so long. So um, I'm also going through all of that. And what, I mean, what, what, what was he like? I mean, um, what happened that you broke up? Well, it was a really shock. It was really shocking to me and horrible. And it happened just two months ago. He, we'd been together for so long and we were engaged and we were going to get married maybe this summer. And, um, he wasn't Jewish. It didn't seem to be a problem, but it started to become, I think when we thought about children and family, it became more of a thing. Mm -hmm. And then his father died like just after Christmas. And then he, uh, decided we weren't really the right people for each other. And then he wow. ran off with another girl. <laughs> so. Wow. It probably must have been uh, like uh, pretty heartbreaking for you. It was awful. Yeah, it was really terrible. But that's why when you were... Go ahead. Oh, that's why when you were talking like early on like about all men are pigs. And like, right, right. And like if they see a woman, it's it, that's why I'm like, that's so sad because I would like to think that somebody could figure it out. Maybe it is by doing it like a traditional approach, like the Hasidic community, maybe. Uh huh. So are you still driving or did you get? Did you... No, I parked already. I parked already, uh, 15 minutes ago. Oh, okay. I don't want to keep you. If you're, do you... <laughs> <laughs> your, their families, your wife's probably expecting you now. I don't know. I, she, she actually, she beat me in and I told her I'm talking with somebody on the phone. So, I mean, I told her I'm just, I'm helping out somebody with a documentary. I didn't tell her exactly when or where what, but uh, uh, she's okay with it. Yeah, she is. Yeah, actually, she's beeping me in right now. She probably wants something from the grocery. Oh yeah. Well, we can so, talk again later. Um, and if you want to call me back in an hour, that's it. That, 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 that probably that's gonna work for me too. I'll tell you then if I can talk or not. Okay, I'm actually not gonna be around then, so maybe um, okay. tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, tonight or tomorrow, I won't do that. Oh, I the, forgot. <laughs> <laughs> of course, okay. I know. I'm a bad. <laughs> yeah, no, that's okay. I mean, it's very hard for people who never live that way should uh, understand it, right? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Hi, it's Annie. Yes, uh, I was like, I was looking for some some pickled herring in one grocery that didn't have it, so the other one had it. So I had to take it from the other one. Oh, I love pickled herring. Yes, you do? Yeah, because of my grandparents. My grandparents uh -oh. loved it. I'm starting to think of you like you're more Jewish than I thought that, that you are. Yeah, I guess more than I thought I was too. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know all the stuff, you know, I mean, the fish leather. and hummus and challah and shabbat and everything. I mean, it was like, I was like, oh, she's more Jewish than I think that I thought. I mean, the one thing is, is interesting for me for sure is I'm. Uh, how many times have I been talking to you in the past? And I don't even know to whom I'm talking to. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a pen pal, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have no problem. Uh, if you want, I can send you a picture back. Oh, thanks. But, right okay, but here's the thing. Maybe we shouldn't know what each other look like. Do you think that's going to change things? Oh, if you want to go that way. No problem. Okay, that's no problem. Well, you can at least uh, describe yourself. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, I have brown hair. Um, it's usually shortish, but now it's to my shoulders. And okay. brown eyes. And um, I'm about five feet, almost six inches. <laughs> yeah. And why do you body like, your body like fit or... Yeah, or well, I'm, I have small I have bones, I guess. I'm like, I weigh like a hundred and... 15. Wow, okay. And, um... Uh, uh, do, do you have any idea of how I look? No, or? I know you have blue eyes, um, yeah. a beard, um, the payases sometimes, right? You curl them or pull them back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now it's like, yeah, I curl it up all the way on my ears, so you don't see it. 
Mm-hmm. And a little bit of like more like a tan tan color. Oh yeah. right, yeah, you're tan. And I'm like five eight, and I weigh like hundred and fifty pounds, hundred fifty five. Yeah. And uh, hold on one second, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I mean. I mean, what I'm saying, I, I mean, look from the outside, I look like Hasidic, I have like a trim, I'm not trimmed, I have like a very small beard, and you're not going to recognize me if I walk in the street, you're not going to put together, uh, this is the guy you spoke with on the phone, you know? Hey Marty, it's Annie, I'm sorry I missed your calls, thank you um, for your text, I hope you had a good Shabbat. Um, Thank you for taking images with the flip camera. And uh, yeah, if you wanted to swing by today and drop it off, uh, anytime should be fine. There should be somebody home. Um, and I was curious if you were able to f um, try to shoot where you thought the A roof might be. Um, but I hope you're doing well, and I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, I think I passed your house already. Oh, whoops. Okay. It's basically like South First and... South, well, so your house is 322, you said, right? It's 322, right. I'm, I'm right here in the front. Let me see if I can find some parking, because right now I'm double parked. Yeah, are you are you double parked? Okay. One sec. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. So Andre's coming out with the camera. Okay. How are you? How are you? Okay, thank you. Did you have fun with the camera? Oh, yes. I, I, I have many different cameras. Actually, I just put in brand new batteries for it, oh. so I'll let her know. Okay, okay. I'll let her know. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye. You take care. Take care, too. Bye. Bye. Hello. You still there? Yeah, Hi. I'm still there. Your roommate, Andre, or whatever? Yeah, Andre, yeah. He's a very nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. Although I didn't, I didn't uh, talk to him that much, though. But um, still, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of surprised. He has like a little beard. Uh huh. I was like surprised. I thought only Hasidic would um, go around with beard. Really? I didn't uh, expect to see somebody with a beard coming back. Let me ask you one more quick uh, question before I go for the night. Okay. As um, you said, you went out for a date yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was well, he Jewish? Um, he is Jewish, not practicing. But you don't know how Jewish his parents were, or something. I have a feeling that he's culturally Jewish, but not practicing. Ah, uh, uh, I see. Which I would say that I was too, but I feel like through the process of our calls, like I've been identifying as more Jewish than before. All right. Okay, so probably I'll be continuing talking to you. Okay. In the future. So uh, take okay. care of yourself and have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.